What's up, bowlers? And welcome back to the Bowling Nights Garage Shop for another episode of In League Bar Review. I'm Joe Bowler, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new 900 Global White Hot Badger. I've seen a few people in our league throwing them, and they look really good, so I'm glad I got my hands on one. I like to call this one the other white ball. So let's get right to it. Run, ball, run! That was pure. Alright, bowlers. First things first, this ball is pretty. The white pearl is sharp, and the cool pink logos are right up my alley. As a bowling ball connoisseur, it's important to me that a ball looks good, as well as rolls good. Usually, when we get a ball, we'll punch it up right here in the garage shop. But this time, I borrowed this one from our friends over at Bowler Solutions Pro Shop inside Kimbo Lanes. Philip Vance and his guys just finished a remodel and installed a brand new state-of-the-art drill press in a brand new resurfacing machine. I'm a little jealous. We have to buy all our own equipment and buying a new ball every week can get really expensive. So we really appreciate our friends helping out with these reviews. The White Hot Badger is a symmetrical piece with a higher RG and a lower differential, which means it should be great for drier conditions. The cover stock on this one is a S71 Pearl which is about the middle of the road for 900 Global Balls. This ball should get down the lane cleanly and make a strong move on the back end. Even though this ball was already drilled when I got it, I still wanted to know what the layout numbers look like. Based on my positive access point, this ball is drilled with a 25 by 4 and 3 8 inches by 30 layout, which put the pin right above my ring finger. The surface on this one is a 1500 grit, followed by a nice polish. Alright bowlers! Let's head on out to Dixie Bow Lanes and get ready for league night. I'm excited. Alright bowlers, I uh, just got back from bowling our league at Dixie Bow Lanes this week. And uh, this week we got Bud. Bud wasn't even there this week. He had to work. So uh, he's going to be watching this ball roll with us uh, for the first time. Just like everybody else. So here we go, man. On the uh, first game I started off where I normally play. And uh, I didn't know what to expect from this ball since I borrowed it. This is the first time I threw it. Mm, you can see it right the there. Far, yeah, it got down there good. Uh, first game I did start off a little far left. I was uh, at first I was like, man, I don't know if this ball is gonna be anything at all. Let's see, that was a good one. Hit pretty good, didn't it? Because he don't like he. I mean, he stands in one spot pretty much all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I like swinging it out yeah. there. I he just it changes the speed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, change the speed, change balls. Angles, yeah. yeah. But I can move right if I have to. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard you had to. I heard you had to with this one. I did. Look how far left I am. Yeah. As you can see, there it you can get it out Boom. to the dry there. That one hit pretty good, man. I was uh, at the beginning. It's, I guess it's because it's so far left. I really wasn't uh, impressed with the way it was hitting. Uh, you know, it, it didn't have much energy left when it got there. But well, it's, a high, it's, it's a high, it's a higher RG good. ball. That's why. Yeah. I'm, it's yeah. like two point. What was it way up there? Yeah, I should have. I should have known better and started right. But uh, hey, really bold. Oh, uh, see if I got that one slow. And it's slow. Yeah. This ball was a little speed sensitive. Um, there was a couple pitches, man, I thought I just pured it, yeah. and it run high on me, and I come back and checked the little uh, miles per hour thing, and it was like .15 difference. I mean, well, this one might be good for a surface ball. change if you do yeah. the little, yeah. little, little Avalon action on it. Yeah, there you Roll. go. So, uh, all right, after the first game, I had, uh, I had a 210. And uh, you can see there, I had a couple you of seven start rolling counts. there about the six frame. But yeah, seven But you leave in the tenth. Uh, that's where Sleeper. I left that little baby, baby oh, split, okay. so and I chopped, ten. yeah, I chopped three off of it. So, two ten yeah. first game. Uh, uh, all right, let's uh talk to one of our fellow league bowlers, our uh, buddy Chris Stoff, man. Stop. He's our guy, man. Chris is cool. He uh, sub with us this week. Helped him out with the camera. Man, he helped us out a lot. Yeah, with the he helps, uh, helps us out a lot. We he appreciate does. everything. Absolutely, Stop. man. Stop's a cool dude. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, see what he had to say about the uh, white hot badger. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, bowlers. Uh, we're here with our buddy Chris Stop, and he just got through watching me throw the 900 Global white hot badger all night long. Chris Stop, man, uh, how do you think that ball rolled for you? Tonight? I don't. Uh, first game, it seems like. You may have been a little deep with it. It was yeah. had a little 
a little hard time recovering, even though you, you did miss a little bit on the outside. It recovered, got some light mixers in there, yeah. a couple of duds in there, yeah. little little uh, weak ten pins. But it was uh, man. The first game is like it had no energy when it got there, didn't it? Right. Yeah. You must made a good move though. I'm telling you now. The third game, and uh, I moved right with about about five, and it, when I got it outside, it, it got there. Uh, what shoot, 78 the last game. 78, 28 in game two. I don't know when you made the move. It was the middle of the second. About game. middle of the second. Yeah. Game. And, it was finished in, it, it wasn't hitting like a dud anymore. No, it, it looked pretty nice. It got through there. There was a couple of pieces I heard it, and it got there and it hit, and it still deflected a little bit, though. You know, I like to see the ball drive better, but you know, hey. You right. Know, sometimes it's like, hey, what you shooting tonight? Uh, 756, Woo! Queen 30. There you go, Butler's. What ball are you throwing? So the Brunswick Danger Zone. There you uh, go, Danger Zone. Pin under, CG, right, right in the palm. So. I love it, man. That's a good ball. Uh, Anything else you want to say? Maybe you say anything you want to. No, real bowlers, man. We, we're having a good time. Check, check out, check out kids. Uh, kids, Landon, Brian, Delaney, my wife Patty. Oh, Love you guys. Hey, you know, Patty. Thanks for letting me come out here. Uh, I really enjoy good. hanging out with uh, Joe Bowler, JoJo. We bowled us tonight. It's awesome. Man. It's we a good time. Had a great time, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Brother, thank you. All right, here we go. Uh, thanks, Christoph, man, and a uh, special shout out to Patty, his wife. Up, uh, we bowled in college together. Yeah. Stop bowled with us in, in college too. And there you go. That's where you Second move. game. That's uh, move. I think That's on this way. pitch, probably on about this mid, about probably third, third or fourth frame. frame. I moved right a little bit. Yeah. See, I'm playing a little bit more direct there, and then I just moved just a hair more. And, uh, you didn't move all at once. You just kind of. Yeah, gradually got over. Looking a little better there. Yeah, when you, I move right, it's stored a little better. And I got there, so. I was reading a little bit. Yeah. Well, so it took care it's of a little the switch. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. I probably could have moved a couple more. Uh, right. You're probably afraid getting it out too early, though, when yeah. you move too far right. It was jumpy. There we go. That looks like a good That's, one. Yeah. That was the best shot of the night right there. Well, oh, here we go, yeah. Oh, you're in the last. Last game. Last game. Yeah, I had the front uh, front seven, I think, and that one, the pitch, I thought I threw it really good, and I just slowed it down. I mean, just a hair, man, and it ran all the way through the face. So, uh, okay, look well, at his action, action shots. Action. Hey, it's a stop, man. He's uh, He's got a gift. He's, look at he's professional cameraman. Watch this. We need to hire him. <laughs> Dude, look at these. Can look at this. Mm. Oh, look at that stop. Oh. We ain't never had them angles before. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Look at that flex on them. Yeah, yeah hit him with a little bit of that. Yeah, look at that oh. angle. Yeah. yeah. Hey, this is a professional grade uh, mm. videos here. Stuff coming through for me. Uh, yeah, I love it, man. Oh, oh, there's oh, Aaron, tell me. about what's yeah, up, man? What's up, Aaron? That's our guys, man. Yeah. We got some good dudes in this league. So uh, there we go, man. Uh, 278 that last game. Uh, I was rolling. The ace pitch, man, I thought I threw it really good. I just slowed my speed down maybe just a hair, man, and it just jumped off the dry. So uh, that's all right. What are you going to do? Uh, 228 the second game. Yeah, 716. Saren, you thought, you know, at the beginning, you, you texted yeah. me, he was like, this ball hits like poop. Yeah. <laughs> so, I it, thought I was. I, a little adjustment. Yep. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to like his ball at all the first, you know, look at it first five frames. Uh, yeah. uh, but then, you know, you make a yeah. little adjustment and uh, move a couple. And uh, it started rolling pretty good. I still uh, I still wasn't impressed very much with the way his ball hit, man. After seeing that uh, Fearless video last week, yeah. you watch that ball. That man, ball throws pins man, everywhere. Maybe there is a difference with that. Uh, that dynamic core. Well, I it think I, I, I think you've just never had a real good. You don't match up with the higher RG stuff anyway. Yeah. You like the lower RG stuff. This ball did. didn't really rev off your hand real good. It just kind of yeah, got down the lane quick. I mean, know. that's what it's designed to do. Yeah, that's what it's designed to do. I'm just saying. For, yeah. That's it's probably that why. Uh, it's uh, this would be a good ball for like tournament shots yeah. or. Uh, it's got a low differential mm -hmm. and uh, the higher RG, so it's going to get down the lane. Yeah. All right, man, let's uh, do in the bag. In my bag this week, I had the uh, Venom Recoil, the GB2. What, the purple Venom? Is that one in there? Venom Shock Pearl, and the Choice, the Ebonite Choice. Yeah. So, uh, man, uh, 
this ball, you know, this uh, this ball ain't gonna make my main bag. It uh, if it was mine, it would make a tournament bag though. I definitely keep it around for uh, those tougher shots. Maybe if they dry out some during league. But uh, you know, uh, as far as just a main ball for uh, to for carry a fresh shot. for yeah. a fresh, fresh shot. shot, yeah, I mean this one ain't gonna, this ain't for me. But you know, for some people some it might, people be. might be. Like I do better with the high RG yeah, stuff. Yeah, he likes so, high RG stuff. Know. So uh, there you go, man. And uh, but let's do our final thoughts. I know uh, this is the only uh, thing you've seen and you've heard me talk about it a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, JoJo talked about it a little bit. So what do you think? You, I mean. When, uh, I mean, I wasn't, I mean, super, super impressed with it, like you said, but I mean, I did, I've seen other people throw it. I've seen when I, Courtney throws it, it all depends Ooh, on who's throwing yeah. it. I mean, you know, when Courtney it throws good. it, he makes it look good. So yeah, it all depends yeah. on if it matches up with your game, too. Right. But, uh, I mean, I mean, it gets down the lane. It definitely gets down the lane, and, yeah. you know, you can carry a lot of swisher shots. So. I did carry some yeah. swisher. I did rip some tens yeah. and left some flat ones but, in there, too, so, uh. It's pretty good. Yeah, my final thoughts on the uh, White Hot Badger. Like I said, you know, uh, it's not going to make my my bag, but uh, um, it was pretty. It's a pretty ball. I love the colors on it. The logo's pretty cool with that little claw scratch mark on the thing. Yeah, I like the Pink. logo. Yeah, it's pretty. And uh, we like to call this ball the other white ball. The other white ball. Yeah, it's like the other white meat. <laughs> yeah, it's the other white ball. So uh, there you go. That's going to do it. And... Uh, so uh, let's do our thumbs uh, thumbs gimmick. Uh, yeah, we're doing, yeah, half, we're doing thumb. half thumbs. Yeah. Uh, for yeah. us, yeah, it's a uh, it's not ball everybody would want. Yeah. Like there's certain balls where it, anybody could throw. And yeah, absolutely. This ball isn't one. Like yeah, this ball is gonna. This ball, wood. yeah, this it's ball's good. gonna match up with certain players. Yep. More than others. So. It'd be a good tournament ball to have in your bag, though. So. Yeah. There you go, man. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Always remember, hey, no sponsors here. We get these balls anywhere we can. Yeah. If somebody lets me borrow one, hey, I'll tell them where you got this. One? Oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna put it in the beginning. But uh, special thanks to uh, Phil yeah, and the guys yeah. over at uh, Bowler Solutions inside Kimbo. He let yeah. me borrow this one. They do it from time to time. It helps us out a lot. Man, because uh, we, we can't afford them every week. <laughs> I mean, we try, but yeah. Hey, we're real dudes. I can't afford to go out and spend 150 How much is a brand new high end piece on the internet? 170 60s, yeah. I can't. We can't do it. So, uh, anytime somebody does that for us, it helps us. So, uh, that's going to do it. And uh, remember, you can pick up these Real League Bowler shirts over at uh, BowlerNights.com for uh, 12 to $14. Depending on what size you wear. Get your name on them. Get customized. Them customized right here. So uh, get your name right here. Mine says Bowler because that's my name. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, man. Uh, you can always check out our latest stuff on BowlingNice.com. I try to keep that thing updated. Sometimes I slack off a little because I'm doing other stuff. But uh, Busy man. Busy man. Busy can't get no help. Can't get no help around here. <laughs> that's all right, man. I love it. I'm going to keep yeah. on doing it. And uh, uh, we just put up a brand new video on uh, on YouTube a couple <laughs> yeah, days ago. It's very funny. Y'all need to watch it. It's, uh, it's talking about we love our old balls, man. Uh, yeah. We're uh, we're getting uh, where ball companies are remaking yeah. old balls, but they're just changing them. Yeah. They're just putting logos. That's the what I was telling him. It's like a movie when they put new actors. They remake a new movie and yeah. new actors. It's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. yeah. So. Hey, just. Just make the same ball, same, same core, ball, same cover stock. Same logos. We like them for a reason. We like them for a reason. That's it. <laughs> the only thing that should be different is the serial number. Yeah. That should be it. And uh, So uh, that's going to do it this time, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bud, you got anything else, brother? Nothing. That'll do it then. Later, boys. Later, bo Later America. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll stole your gimmick. You did. Thanks for watching this episode brought to you by the Bowling Nights Garage Shop. Are you a real league bowler just like us? Then join our new Facebook group. Here you can share your videos, ask questions, and get tips and tricks from your fellow league bowlers. Also, these real league bowler shirts are now available on BowlingNights.com. For a limited time, they're only $12 to $14 each with free shipping and come customized with your name or nickname on them. So if you can, Help a bowler out and buy a shirt. Thank you, bowlers.